Oh, goodness. Mm. You know, I don't think there's enough aloe in the world to treat that burn. Oh, goodness gracious. Mm. So, uh, for those of you who missed the uh, E3 conference last night, talking about the PlayStation 4 that, well, you pretty much missed out on the biggest, the greatest homicide in the history of console wars. Just, oh my god. You know what? It, it wasn't even so much a homicide. You want to know what it was like? It's like Sony faced Microsoft, got a sword out, did blade mode on them, Metal Gear Rising style, turned them into hamburger meat, Lit, them on, lit the remains on fire until they were nothing but ash, rolled them into a big old fatty, and just went... <sighs> so, guys, we got some games for you. That's pretty much what happened last night, and I just was like, oh, my God. I could not believe just... Oh, and plus the commercial, the, all the advertisements. For example, I'm going to leave a link to one of them. How to share games on the PlayStation 4. <laughs> Woo, Sony, man, you you just, woo! <laughs> now, uh, before I continue any further into this uh, video, I just want to say, like I said in the Xbox One video I did, I feel bad for you fans of Xbox who were looking forward to the next one and you're kind of getting screwed over. I do feel bad for you, really. But, well... I've been getting a lot of sh I've been getting a lot of crap from Microsoft fanboys on forums and stuff. So you know what? Consider don't consider this an attack on you guys. Consider that consider that just a little slap towards the Xbox One fanboys or the X Bone fanboys, I should say. So let's continue. So let let me just go over my let's just go over my thoughts on the whole conference itself. First off, the games that were announced, only a few actually interested me. Like I know I'm gonna get as soon as they come out for it, but and but really, those games were the rest of the games. They looked passable. They looked okay. But the games that really interested me from the start were Kingdom Hearts three for one. That's right, official announcement trailer and a tiny bit of game gameplay footage at the end. And oh my God, it looks like it's going back to how Kingdom Hearts two worked. No more of the gimmicky BS we saw in Birth by Sleep and, and freaking 3DS Dream Drop. Actual Kingdom Hearts gameplay. Oh my god, I'm so... I, words cannot express how happy I was watching that trailer. I, I, I shed a little man tear. Just, hmm. Second of all, Final Fantasy 13 Versus, or as it is now known, Final Fantasy 15. All I can say is it's about... It's about freaking time, man. I'm glad they changed it from a spin-off to fi from Final Fantasy 13 into an actual full-blown into a full-blown main series release. And that's also a good sign because it means that we're not going to see any more delays of this stuff. It's either going to come out this year or the next year. The year after that being the latest cuz this is an actual this is an actual main series entry. So it, this there's no way this can be put off. Apparently, the new CEO of Square Enix, he's actually doing what needs to be done it's over at Square. He's pretty much like, oh, you want to go and waste a... But you, you just want to go and waste a whole bunch of time and money, don't you, don't you, Tetsuya? Oh, yeah, I totally want to. Well, too bad. We're, too bad we're making video games. Uh, oh, I liked wasting time. But that little attack out of the way, what else did... They, oh, Watch Dogs. Now, I wasn't really that interested in Watch Dogs when I first heard about it, but after seeing the uh, E3 trailer, I'm actually a little curious by it. It looks... A lot of people have said, oh, it's just Grand Theft Auto. Well, kind of, but at the same time, it looks like a really unique way to play the game. I don't really know, like... I don't really know about the whole being able... To, other players being able to help you out every so often, because what if they just manage to screw you over or something while you're playing it with a little touchpad and stuff? But, then again, who knows? We'll see. Killzone Shadow Falls. I like to have at least one first-person shooter for my video for my game consoles. So, you know, I just might end up getting Killzone Shadow Falls. What else? The order looked good, but the problem is there was no gameplay for it. It was just a trailer. Dudes, People at E3, people in Sony, we don't want to see fully rendered cutscenes. We want to see gameplay. 
The order actually looks pretty cool. Show us some gameplay. From what I can tell, it's either going to be a first person, third person, or some people have suggested it might be an on rail shooter, which would be cool, mind you. But I, I'd like to, I would like to see some gameplay of it. What else was there? Oh, they showed a trailer of Mad Max. That was pretty cool. Uh, no, that. Oh, Infamous Second Son. How could I forget Infamous Second Son? I recently just completed playing Infamous 2 again, so I'm pretty excited for Infamous Second Son. Plus, it seems like the character's going to have pyrokinetic powers, which is just a huge thing for me because I love pyrokinesis, so yay! Oh, jeez. And the features of the play PlayStation 4, and this pretty much just destroyed Xbox One completely. It doesn't have to be online all the time. It doesn't have DRM. You don't need to hook it up to the internet at least once a day. And your single player experiences, you are single player. You don't have to be connected to the internet to play single player games. Oh my god, it's like something we've always had. <laughs> like, oh jeez. What, what, what? Oh, the discs are actual freaking discs. You can share your games with people. You can sell your game to someone. You can piss on the game if you want to. And it's your property. It's yours. Once you pay that $60 or hopefully $50, because I've heard it's gonna, that they're going to be $50, I don't, I don't think it's true, but you know what? If it is, awesome. But once you pay that $60, it is yours. And that just made me clap a little the way they said it, because they're pretty much just showing the middle finger off to Microsoft, and you know what? They deserve that middle finger, and then some. What else? Ah, uh, shoot, there was more. The share ga the... Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what else did they show up. Oh, they actually showed up the console at last, and you want to know the thing? It actually looks next-gen. Like, it actually looks like like a new like a new video game console. Like, it's got that sleek that futuristic looking design to it. It actually looks like something I saw in Dave's X the other day. Hmm. Foreshadowing? But no, probably not. Probably all coincidence. But still, it it looks pretty cool. What else? Uh, hmm. There what? I'm really tired, as you can probably tell, so I'm trying to... Oh, something that a lot of... I mean, a lot of X-Bone fanboys were pretty much just... They were scouring over every inch of this reveal, trying to find something to complain about, something to just... Something to just get upset about, and it's like, Oh, well, let's see what... There has to be something we can... <gasps> PlayStation Plus! You need PlayStation Plus to play online! You, you have to pay money to play multiplayer! Yeah! And it's like... Okay... You need Xbox Live to play online with the Xbox 360. They didn't say the PlayStation Network is going to cost money. They said PlayStation Plus is going to cost money, and that's if you want to play multiplayer. And it's only five bucks a month. whoop de frickin do That's sixty dollars a year. Sixty dollars a year annually, so you can play online, and you don't even have to pay it. Don't you just love how intelligent Microsoft fanboys are? I mean, just wow. I mean, isn't I mean, that's cheaper than Xbox Live, isn't it? I thought it was. So yeah, pretty much in terms of what it's going to do to enhance the gameplay experiences, it's not really doing all that much, but at least it's not screwing their consumers over in the worst possible way. It's the game discs are still ours. The console is pretty much a co video game console that does what we need it to do. It's not a set top box. And basically it's a co basically oh and oh and this was this was the icing on the cake. This was just the final nail being banged into Microsoft's coffin. It's only the price tag for the PlayStation 4 is $399. Whereas the Xbox One is four hundred and ninety nine dollars. So right there, bam, just boom, just gone. Oh jeez. I had a lot of fun last night as you can tell. I'm sad to see that the Xbox is pretty much irrelevant now and nobody's gonna buy it at this point, simply because PlayStation Four has all the advantages, but you know what? Microsoft, you done screwed up, and now you're gonna suffer for it. See you guys later. Red Vulture out.